Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 3 Episode 13 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. That is actually pretty amazing. A little bit out of order though, uh, not that Senku has to follow in order, it's just uh, this anime generally does. The drone was invented after the... You know what? Yeah, so the drone was invented after the airplane. It actually, as far as we know drones today, that might have been actually available after the space shuttle. <laughs> Entirely different technology, but the, the, the reason that tech starts off so big and then it gets smaller and smaller and smaller with each iteration is because the first prototype, as we saw Senka say, this is just a Mach 1, right? The goal is just, can you make it work? It's not going to be affordable. It is not going to be efficient. It's not going to look good. It's not going to really appeal to anyone. It really, the question is just, can you show a proof of concept? And once you have that, which in the case of the airplane, it's can you just get off the ground? That's step one. Can you maintain that for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 and then just small incremental changes on top of what you already have until you eventually get a commercial spacecraft. And then the drone is something that is a very similar situation. In this case, it's just, can you get it off the ground, right? And then after that, it's stabilize it. And then he's probably going to find a way to control it. And then you have to find a way to like maybe command its speed. I, if he can make that wireless, that'd be one. There's a lot of things basically, let's put it this way, that he has to figure out. But the First, in fact, I would argue the most important step is can you create a working prototype? It might not be pretty and it might not be the best selling anything, but just make it work. Alright, uh, these are certain parts of Dr. Stone where I'm gonna take Senku's word for that one. I, it still kind of blows my mind like how knowledgeable this guy really is just about all this stuff. Was it like, um, is it ethyl acetate or something like that? I, I've never even heard of it until this, I mean like it's a, it's a real uh, uh, chemical I'd imagine. It's just, man, this guy is so smart. I'm just gonna take his word on this one. <laughs> I knew that the dude Soyuz was for something. I kept trying to tell you guys. I don't trust that guy. For one, I can't believe they're actually going to kill Gino. I don't know why he deserved that. But this... Okay. Yeah, that music does not fit at all with the, what I was thinking, but first of all, thank God Gino's not gonna die. I have no idea what that thing is if if it is technology or science as they call it i can't wait to see how dr stone explains this one <laughs> i mean i remember very early on in the episodes i talked about how likely the only thing that might not be scientifically accurate is that petrification beam itself so that's but that was sort of the premises of the show so maybe that one it, like but okay let's thinking about it in the context of this anime it's not a mechanical device. There's definitely electrical properties in it, and if that's the case, and I, I, I don't, I can't imagine they have a way of charging this thing, so it's gonna have batteries somehow, and so I guess there, if it has batteries and this thing does have a limited number of uses, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe one way is like you just kept on like you can keep burning that thing until you just can't petrify anyone anymore. It's one way of solving the problem, but. If it's, if it is, because it is an electrical based device, and if that's a metal, Senku can 
short circuit that thing. Like if you literally took that and he, there's a there's there's so many ways he could do it. I mean, you could burn it or even like you don't have to even get to that. If you can just take like how he um had like a little like taser like in his um fingers, just put that next to that thing, just touch it. Like you you can short circuit this thing and uh it's there's a lot of ways you can break it basically. I don't know if anything wireless is going to work on this. That would be an interesting take on it. Although the biggest thing that I can think about if we're acting as if this is a real device, how is it powered? And it's got to run on some batteries. So I I wonder is if this is the same thing that they had 3,700 years ago, then how does it still have any power left in it? I guess like, yeah, I like it's, it's, it's a fake device, but I mean... If it's man-made, I mean, that's got one hell of a battery life. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I wish you all the best rest of your day.